be a part of your family's holiday dinner and the best part you can have your cake and eat it too my favorite kind of cake here to uh, share our dessert in the ci kitchen from family to table blog it's natalie kenny marquez hi natalie hi love it when you bring cake yes <laughs> and uh, there i i joke there is no vegetables or healthiness nothing healthy about this cake all just delicious sugar so what kind of cake is it this is a lady baltimore cake and i had never heard of this cake before until I was going through great great grandma Nellie's recipes and she had an index card in her um, recipe box that lists out exactly what she served for Christmas in late 1930s and dessert was a lady Baltimore cake and all of these notes reference the recipe somewhere in there so I took this out and I thought it sounded a little intense for my baking abilities but I was like I can do this and it's gonna be great because it's her recipe and do we know so, why the cake was named after Lady Baltimore or who that even is or just just the name it, a, an English noble person sounds, I, sounds I guess that's me. what I could find but it seems to be very popular cake in in the southern states okay. so very um, rich but delicate cake yeah are we making Baltimore. three cakes or are these being stacked how is this three one cake Three layers high. Got it. Okay. Yes. What goes into the cake? So, um, a lot of sugar and butter. Perfect. Uh, cake flours. You have to use cake flour for it. It's different than your all purpose flour and best for um, baking cakes. Uh, we have vanilla in there too. It's a pretty basic, basic cake, cake, cake recipe, recipe, which makes up for the very, very sweet icing that we're going to use to put this together and then what goes in the filling. Oh, okay. Right. So, so, are you ready to start yeah. stacking? So you gotta let the cakes cool before you ice them. Those are some fancy pans That's with the little cool. ridges. Edges, yeah, right? I know, not too bad for a dollar store disposable <laughs> pan, right? <laughs> so we have, oh, we gotta put a layer, layer. On Okay, so. So what is the difference between these two bowls? So this will go on the outside. Oh, okay. This will go on the inside and we gotta put what's in this jar in there and. Oh, all right. Yep. I oh, can handle that, what's I in the jar in here? Yep. Oh, okay. So and what got, is in the jar? We've got dates and raisins and pecans and candied orange peel. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Give it a little tap there, there. And then I also reserved a few more pecans that we'll use to kind of zhuzh it up after we zhuzh. get it all. Zhuzh. Zhuzh. That's a new right, one. Sure. <laughs> and that's, that's what these are for at the end. Yep. Okay. okay, so just put like a little bit on here. Yeah, you want to cover it pretty well. Okay, I don't want to, because I know we got a few other layers here. I saw the recipe had dates and stuff in the icing and I yes. found that odd I hadn't heard of that before is that more normal than I know um you know I use dates uh, quite a bit for cooking or to sweeten things if I'm not using actual sugar because it's a great it's nature's candy that's oh, what okay oh. oh no you're fine okay. All okay. Right. then we'll put the next layer on kind of Smush sh 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 it, it down again. You're doing a great job. <laughs> I Do I need to one? reserve any more of this or can I use it um, most uh, of it yeah you're good. Ah, okay. She says with hesitation in her. Brain. I love how it just kind of like drizzles down though too. Yes. Cause yeah, this I is probably could have made it just a little bit thicker. That's all yeah. right. Looks yummy. I know there will be plenty of people around here that will eat it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then this goes on top. And that yes. goes on top. Yep. Perfect. So do you want the the? Nope. The, nope. We'll okay. just go for this. Got it. And so the next step is to ice it, and then you'll want to put it in the fridge for. I don't know, about an hour to help it set just a little bit. Usually, this seems like it could be a fairly delicate process, yes? Yes, and usually any cake that you have layers with, it's good to put in the fridge and let those layers set before you do the outside. Otherwise, as you're going around, it's going to start to... Well, yeah. Jiggle a little, sure, okay. Yeah. We yeah. ain't got time for that. There's nope. a look at some of the ingredients that went into the Lady Baltimore cake, which we will have on CILiving.tv after today's show. There's a look at the frosting that um, we're going to be slathering all over our cake here during the break. But in the meantime, if you want a copy of Natalie's recipe, head to CILiving.tv and make sure you go check out her blog with all of her other recipes she's shared, as well as her Facebook page.